Here we have a mismatched chair and table. They aren't the ugliest ducklings I've ever seen, but they sure could use some help. And they're for the Ugly Duckling Spirit of Giving Challenge, hosted by Corey from Desert DIY. As you might have noticed, the top was detached from this table, so the first thing I do is to reattach it. All good, just making sure. Next up is a good cleaning with Dixie Bell's White Lightning, a TSP cleaner. I cover all the surfaces and then I use water to rinse. Then I undo all the screws and remove the seat. I keep those screws so that I can reuse them later. A lot of times if you switch the screws out, then they don't fit properly. I give the chair a thorough cleaning as well. I detect a loose leg. So I get some glue, some wood glue, and I put it in there and use a clamp to tighten everything up. I'm using a little Dixie mud to fill in a little chip in the corner. I use Dixie Bell's silk paint in Sandcastle and put a first coat on the chair. I like to have the chair upside down at first so I can get all of those places that you wouldn't see if you had the chair right side up. Then I'll flip the chair to ensure that I get complete coverage. Take the time when you're finished painting to make sure that you have no drips on the piece. This is so important when you're using an all-in-one paint. It dries really hard and then you almost have to cut out your drip uh, rather than just sand it down. So um, I definitely recommend going over your piece again. After the first coat is dry, then I apply a second coat. Now I move on to paint the table. Again, I go upside down first to get the legs. And also, note that the chair and the table are two different species of wood. This table is much darker and the chair was a blonde wood. So just take note of the coverage um, that we're getting with the same color, the Dixie Bell Silk in Sandcastle. Mm -hmm. 
I apply a second coat before I flip the table. Note that on the legs, I only used two coats, just like on the chair. I got really good coverage. I end up applying a third coat to those tabletops, simply for durability. Now I'm going to use Voodoo Gel Stain in Black Magic and just an artist brush to do a dry brush technique on the uh, paint finish. I simply drag that brush over the surface, not reworking it a lot, just a few strokes lightly, and then I wipe it back with a cloth. And that's important to also not overwork. Instead of doing a white wash, we're doing a black wash. It's really a pretty subtle finish. I go pretty lightly on the chair and I end up going a little heavier on the table, but I correct that in the end. Here I am applying a second coat to the tabletops, both the shelf in the bottom and the top of the table. Note when it's wet, you can see some of those brush strokes. I wanted to show you in the light so that you could see them. I have a little spot there that I need to just smooth out. But then watch when I come back and you'll see that the brush strokes disappear. See? <laughs> Just like magic. That's beautiful. It's a self-leveling paint and that's what that means. To get the smoothest finish, I do a little sanding in between coats. While that dries, I'm going to use a little bit of this fabric and cover that seat. Normally, Whenever I cover a seat, I strip it completely back. And in this case, I'm just going to cover it because it looks pretty clean. And I'm not actually selling this piece. I'm giving it away uh, for the Spirit of Christmas Challenge. In uh, my area, unless you have a yellow tag, I can't sell anything with upholstery on it. So um, again, I'm just... Since I'm not selling it, I'm just recovering what is already there. If you've ever covered seats before, you know that you don't need very much fabric. Um, in this case, probably about a half a yard of fabric because it's a decorator fabric. So um, it's pretty wide. Um, so a half a yard usually will do it. I always do opposite sides first so that I can stretch it so that it's nice and taut. Um, and of course, I run out of staples. That's par for the course. And a quick change. And I'll be back in business. When I get to the corners, I just make a nice neat fold so that everything's nice and flat. Uh -oh. 
I'm trimming back some of the fabric here so that I can expose the original tags that are on here. I like to leave a little bit of the history of a piece of furniture, so I'm just kind of uh, working my way around it. I used U-shaped staples, so now I'm just kind of hammering those in just a little bit just to make sure they're nice and flat. I'm checking out these tags. It's Bassett Furniture in Bassett, Virginia, and has been sold in Altoona, Pennsylvania, where I'm from. And it looks like the Blackford Furniture Company. Peak. I have the chair upside down so that I can position the seat back on and start those screws in. It's a little bit difficult to locate them, but uh, it's a lot easier than having it on the ground. So I just want to get them started in and then I'll finish screwing them in properly uh, when we turn it right side up. Now I'm going to apply the black magic to the table just as I did with the chair. Notice those little insets on the front and also they are similar to what's on the chair. I call the design in the chair middle a trefoil. I don't know what you call them when they're elongated as they are on the table. But I just think that kind of unified uh, these two separate pieces as well as this paint is also unifying them. I do the same process just like I did on the chairs, just a dry brush and then wipe it back. Remember I said it went a little heavy on the black? Here's how I correct it. I simply went back and dry brushed some of the sandcastle. Remember our mismatched table and chair, our blonde chair, and our darker uh, table with the missing top. The spirit of giving challenge is not just to flip an ugly duckling, uh, but it's to give it to a person in need. So Corey is a generous soul and she's done a lot of uh, giving to help people get a new start in life. So we really appreciate her hosting this challenge. I hope you'll check out her channel. It'll be listed in the description box along with all of the videos in this challenge. So Lisa, tell me a little bit about Family Services. Well, Family Services Incorporated offers services to victims of domestic violence. We offer a homeless shelter, a teen center and shelter. We have homes for folks with intellectual disabilities. And through all those services, um, we help folks find a place to live and get comfortable there. Oh, that's awesome. 
Well, you know, in this spirit of giving challenge that we do the furniture flips, this one's an ugly duckling. So these pieces were mismatched pieces and through the magic of paint, um, we're able to put them together and um, try to make it sort of a neutral palette so that whether a man or a woman gets this uh, set, they'll uh, be comfortable and it's a generous sized chair. So if a man does get it, so. Everybody needs a little table beside uh, their comfortable chair, whether they're watching TV or whatever. That's right. This is super cute, and it's just the right size for somebody getting into their new home. Oh, well, I'm glad to be of service. Thank you and, so much. Uh, sure, and I uh, hope you have a Merry Christmas. You too. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends? If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at LaVintageDecor.company and on Instagram we're LaVintageDecor and on Facebook we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well!